I like to run my bilges on manual before heading out on a trip and last year I started noticing that the forward bilge was holding water. It seemed like the automatic switch wasn't working. The pump worked fine when running the switch on manual, but as you can see here, when I lift the float switch, uh, I get no reaction from the pump. When I originally ordered the boat, there was an option for the F bilge to have an ultra bilge pump switch, but there was no corresponding option for the forward bilge. So today I'm going to install uh, the ultra junior up front. I'm going to get started by removing the old switch and you can see from this installation diagram you just pinch in on the sides. Uh, I was only able to get to one of those clips and then wiggle the switch free. Here I'm cutting the wire ties from the factory wire harness. Uh, I just need to get more slack in the line so that I could actually work on the switch. Once all the wires are loose, I can actually pull the switch out to work on it. The Ultra switches have very flexible wiring configurations. I chose the one for the auto and manual switch. So the manufacturer says if you warranty void if splices are cut or removed. Heat shrink connect wire do not remove. I would have preferred to just cut the ends and hook these right to a Deutsche uh, connector, but since the manufacturer says you should not do that, I'm going to reuse the uh, Deutsche connector from the existing system. And here you can see I've marked uh, the lead for the uh, constant hot, and that's going to go to the red wire. The other wire is going to go to one of the brown wires on the switch, either one, doesn't matter. And then you're going to use a crimper that does not have a spike or a detent uh, so as to not damage the waterproof connectors. Make sure you seal the watertight connectors with a heat gun. I didn't have great footage for how I made my final wiring connection, so I'm just going to use this diagram to show you how I did it. One of the brown wires and one of the black wires from the switch go to your pump. The red wire on the switch goes to your constant hot. That's your automatic switch. The other brown from the switch goes to your manual bilge pump switch on your dashboard. The final black wire on the switch goes back to your indicator light on your dashboard or to ground. Here I'm attaching the bracket that came with the pump switch. Uh, just make sure you index the uh, screw uh, in such a way that you can reach it with a nut driver. All right, same thing with the uh, side of the bracket that attaches to the switch itself. Just make sure you index the hose clamp. Once you get everything positioned properly, you can snug up the hose clamps with your nut driver. Here I'm using a wire tie to secure the excess length of hose clamp and I've just run that wire tie uh, through the hose clamp itself and attached it securely. Here I'm gathering up the wires and bundling them with wire ties. Here I'm using wire ties to connect the harness to the factory clips that have been glued into the uh, boat itself.
Last thing to do is test the manual switch and the indicator light and you can see it's working here. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and tight lines.